Hello everyone, this is Christina and I'm periscoping about my own garden located in San Diego and also other gardens, public gardens and private gardens that I am visiting. So today we are back to my own garden and I just want to let you know that I'm gardening organically only. So everything that you see is um, just done in an organic way. So you are seeing right now the view from my front door and we are looking down the walkway up to the house. And today I just want to um, take you around and show you some of the highlights um, of my garden right now. So one is Our Lady of Guadalupe, this beautiful Floribunda rose which is really a working horse in terms of flowering. It's flowering and flowering and flowering. So um, just turning, what I'm very, very pleased with this year in the summer is Salvia Mystic Spires Blue, which is also really blooming like crazy in the moment. And I don't know if you can see it, there are plenty of bees um, visiting the plant and um, getting their food from the plant. Another rose that I really, really love is the Prince. He has one gorgeous bloom right now. Really, really awesome color. Um, not so floriferous and it's also bugged a little bit by powdery mildew from time to time. So looking back, uh, if you look under the side cut here, to my surprise, I saw that my cyclamen has uh, started to flower. Um, I thought it would start way, way, way later, but um, it has decided to flower now. I just think that maybe the um, strong rains that we are having um, two weeks ago has kind of helped it to start flower now. Oh, by the way, um, the weather is beautiful, but it's a little hot here, so I'm just um, uh, walking you down the sidewalk. So today we are having um, <coughs> 85 degrees Fahrenheit, it's just the maximum temperatures that I expected, which is roughly about um, 29 degrees Celsius. And this will go on and on and on here, that's the summer in San Diego. Um, and of course, we don't have usually any rain at this time of the year. So we have arrived at a plant that I wanted to show you that I really, really like. It is Plectantrus ciliatus mona lavender. I like this plant for the foliage. Um, unfortunately, it is not as drought tolerant that the label indicated and it has grown way bigger than I thought. If you see a lot of the plant is growing into the sidewalk and maybe this plant has to be moved sooner or later. Then moving a little bit uh, to the left side, one of my favorite plants this summer is this Dianthus. <coughs> the variety is called Floral Lace White and these little plants are actually drought tolerant. They bloom and bloom and bloom. You see the uh, Plectantros is really encroaching into the Dianthus and I think I have to help the Dianthus later a little bit to um, get some sun again. Moving to the left, there's a miniature rose, a lavender miniature rose. It's called um, lavender crystal, really producing very, very nice, beautiful flowers. Um, unfortunately, in the front yard, I have a garden color scheme um, I'm going with pink, blue, and white, and lavender somehow is hard to integrate. I really thought it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm not quite happy with this. But anyway, for now it stays, and that is um, fine. So moving a little bit further around, one plant that is really outdoing itself this summer is um, geranium, hardy geranium rosen. You see it's blooming ahead and you know for the temperatures and the drought that we are having I think it's quite fascinating that the plant is able to produce so many flowers. 
uh, a little bit further to the left, there is another rose. It's called Pretty Jessica. There's a bloom. Let me just show you. And um, I just, um, let me just lift it up a little bit. So it's a very, very nice bloom that the rose is producing. And if you see, it has quite a few buds. So in a few days, I'm expecting more of these gorgeous flowers from this rose. So let's go back. If you wonder, this rose here, also a very nice one, is Marie Pavier. And I have spoken about this rose in one of my last periscopes, so I won't uh, talk about it so much anymore. And then if we turn towards the house, there is a um, climbing rose, it's climbing iceberg, and it's really, really flowering nicely. So it's just deadheaded. Um, two days ago, so it's no looking nice and clean. I have to say, if this rose is not deadheaded, it is um, not necessarily um, a pleasing sight because the flowers, they become very brown and they stick to the rose, they don't um, topple off. So, um, moving on, here I can you show you some new plantings. This is a miniature pelargonium. I honestly forgot the name of this one that I planted recently and it's struggling. I think um, uh, the strong rains that we are having together with um, the, the periods where there is hardly any water at all and the droughts, it's really not giving the, um, the plant a good time to root in. I hope it makes it, probably I can just judge about it um, uh, next year if it really is a good plant for this area or not. Here's another rose, this is Pink Pad, trying to bloom, very cute, nice, bottom-like blooms. And again, on this side, I'm having another um, Salvia Mystic Spires Blue. Maybe i just go back a little bit, maybe I can show it to you. Um, so I have Salvias opposite to each other, and I just like how they echo each other and add this blue color to this part of the garden. So here are two more plants that I planted. One is, and you can see another miniature pelargonium. Um, gosh, the sun is so glaring on my phone that I can hardly see what I'm focusing on. Um, so another pelargonium called Linda Z, also recently planted, and as you see, it's struggling as well. Summer is not a good time to plant anything here in San Diego, but um, I have to plant and garden when I have time. So um, either the plants live or they die, and of course, then they just need to be replaced. Here to the left is also a new plant in my garden. It is... Um, called, uh, uh, I th it's a sedum, and I think it's called purpurea. I'm not exactly sure. And this is really my <coughs> attempt to plant a drought tolerant in the spot. It's really, really very hot from the concrete, from the walkway. And then, of course, the um, um, wide wall of the garage is radiating heat towards the plant, so I'm wondering if this will survive here. The last plant that I would like to show you is um, another pelargonium. This is um, a Martha Washington geranium, and I just don't remember the name of the variety. But as you can see, it's still flowering nicely, and I really like the color and the blooms. So um, if I should sum up what is blooming nicely in the garden, it's definitely the roses, so the one that we started with, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Then the prince is blooming nicely. Geranium rosen is a very, very good plant in my garden. And then, of course, what we just have said, the salvias, Salvia Mystic Fires Blue, is really um, a variety of salvia that's doing very, very well here. So that is from me for today. So if you have liked my periscope, please follow me and follow me on Twitter so you get a tweet when I go live next time. I intend to do these broadcast 
each weekend. Thank you so much for viewing, and I hope I see you next time around. Bye-bye.